what's up guys we're back here at the East Coast Cycle Center what we're going to be doing is building a retaining wall if you follow my channel you'll know we've done some other work here we put these pillars in to reinforce this wall that was failing if you're interested I'll leave a, uh, a link in the description and card up top for you to check that out but today's job what we're going to be doing is this retaining wall that's here is actually going to stay in place and we're going to be building a new retaining wall in front of it. And the reason he decided to, to go this route, you can see you have a residence back there. Their yard is the side that's actually being retained. It's about halfway up this wall. And the owner of this property didn't want to disturb them. You can see they have trees, um, they have a few dogs, they have a pool, the whole nine yards. So. We, uh, we had an engineer come out and they designed a retaining wall using big blocks made by Ready Rock. And the way they designed it was to support the load of that existing wall and everything that's behind it. So that way we don't have to disturb the neighbors or their yard too much. There is one section back here. You can see this bump out. That's gonna have to be cut off because the wall is going to run straight down. Basically, the face of the new wall is going to line up with this wall here. We also have this light pole that will have to come out. Here's our plans. You can see here, this light gray line represents the, the new wall that's going to be built. And then this darker line right or I'm sorry, this... These two lines right there represent the existing block wall. You can see here this area we're pulling out, the wall is just going to come across. So you can see here this is our footing. We measured all the grades and we took all of our measurements and right here this red line is actually going to be the top of the first course of block so from there our blocks 18 inches we got about 18 uh, about an 8 inch base so that gives us 26 so we're down 26 inches from that line into the trench now this area the way it's going to work out we're gonna rip this asphalt out and this course of block should line up with the footing, the concrete footing. The second course of block will just go right onto that footing. There it is, the big guns just got here. What's up guys? 
This is day two of our retaining wall job. Yesterday we got the footing dug. We hit a decent amount of rock throughout the area. Um, so it took us a little bit longer, but we got to where we wanted to go, basically down to that light pole, which we'll be pulling out eventually. We'll build this half of the wall, get it pretty well up to its height, pretty close to its maximum height. And then, uh, then we'll continue around the way. You can see we, we hit quite a few boulders. There's one there. This one's only about two inches above the rest of the grade. So I think we're going to leave that one. The one down here was about five inches higher, which means there would only been about one inch of modified going on top. So we're jackhammering it out to get it down a little bit. Because it's it's best to keep a uniform base. So if you can have your base be, you know, whatever it's gonna be, eight inches, you want it pretty close to being eight inches throughout. You know, if you have an area that's like seven, I mean, it is what it is, but you don't want eight somewhere and then, you know, four somewhere else. So that's why we're, we're hammering that, that spot out. I'm gonna drop the compactor in here. We're gonna compact the sub base and then we're going to, uh, start building our base up. So what we did is we put a thin layer, about an inch or two down, just to try to get this base somewhat level. You know, we had those boulders down there, so it was a little wavy. And then there were some other random boulders throughout. And the reason I did this is because we're gonna put the geo stabilization fabric down. And I like to lay that down on a semi-flat surface, as flat as it can be. You know, you don't want too many ups and downs and dips. You want that fabric to be down and, and pretty tight. And then we're gonna put our base on top of it. So we got the stabilization fabric down. And you can see we got it pretty taut. We threw some shovelfuls on here. And now we're gonna start building up our base. So there's our base. This was three lifts total. You can see it's fairly level. When you go over it with a compactor, you know, you're never gonna get it perfectly flat. But tomorrow, we'll start setting blocks. That'll be the fun part. We get, um, we get a tractor trailer delivery in the morning. I think I mentioned we're using Ready Rock block. They're gonna be 28 inches deep and I think they weigh about 1,800 pounds. So we'll have about 12 inches of space for stone. I think about 14 actually, 14 inches for stone and then 28 for the block. And then you can see our, our pad, leveling pad extends probably about eight inches in front of where the block will sit. 
So tomorrow we'll start setting blocks. We'll get our base course in. You'll get to see the process I do to get a nice level pad for sitting the blocks. Cause since these blocks are so big, you can't do you know small adjustments with, with just tapping on it with a hammer. You know, you'll have to nudge it with the excavator and you know then you can knock it out of whack and everything else. So it's best just to have a perfectly level base, place the blocks, and then they're good to go. No adjustment needed. So I'll catch you guys in the morning.